Hi Virgos and welcome. We're going to be doing your love reading. This is not for singles. Please remember that. Okay. Um, so just putting it out there for you now. It's for the month of May 2021. Um, Virgos, the comment section is back open. Okay. And um, there is a disclaimer, however, in the description box for you guys to check out. Okay. In regards to these scammers. I don't do personal readings. You will not find me on social media except for TikTok. So, of course, I won't be asking you for anything, not even a reading, not even money, nothing at all, okay? But the comments are open because I love hearing from you guys and I really felt like there was a need to kind of, you know, let you guys have a conversation with me, okay, and interact with me because, like I said, I love hearing from you guys and it's all about you guys, okay? So let's see what's going on virgos so me rising in venus for the month of may 2021 virgo now you can flip and twist the energies okay virgo but i don't recommend it because we kind of tend to kneel towards the sides that you know we kind of like to hear about ourselves um but it's completely up to you but i'll be doing you at the top and your person at the bottom okay so let's see what's going on virgos mm -mm. i've got a really really sore throat so do excuse me. I don't know what happened. I was doing Taurus's reading and like I blocked the throat chakra. Right, so children, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you guys may have children with this person, but if you don't have children, okay, or you don't have children with this person, it could be that you're dealing with a childlike person, or well, there could be like an age difference here between you and this person. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, let's see what's going on. Get some love oracles. Virgo, please, some moon rising and Venus. Virgo, some moon rising and Venus, please. Cards just don't want to shuffle. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2021. What do we need to know, please? Okay, so we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on for you first. Okay, um, Virgo, so I'm going to go on to your person and see what's going on there. There go, please. Send me rising Venus for their love reading for May 2021. There go, send me rising Venus for the love reading for the month of May 2021. I heard you're not seeing what you need to see. So there could be something in there for you. Maybe this person said that to you. So you got the Queen of Wands. Magician, Three of Swords, Five of Swords, and you've got the Ace of Swords. A lot of swords coming through here. Could be dealing with a air sign. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be dealing with the fire sign, or this could be you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, but on the deck, we do have your energy as well as Pisces, the high priestess. We also have the chariot, which is Cancer energy, and nine of wands. I feel like you guys are being guided by your intuition, uh, to take action and move forward towards something, but however. The road seems a little bit blocked because I feel like you guys are a little bit confused or a little bit conflicted about if you're going to move forward, where you're going to move forward to, how you're going to move forward, which direction do you need to move towards, if that makes any sense. So there's kind of like a multiple of questions coming through here with that. Let's go to your person and see what's going on with them. I 
like somebody's looking for you. So some of you guys may have gone um, ghost mode. You could have gone hermit mode on this person. All right, so they've got the six of pentacles with the knight of wands. The chariot. <laughs> the seven of wands. Seven of pentacles and the strength. Got double numbers here of seven, seven. I actually have triple seven 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 hmm could be a synchronicity you want to check that out seven 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 while the deck you've got the world so somebody could be traveling to come and see you however i feel like there is a little bit of conflicting energy here you've got the seven of swords at the bottom it's funny i feel like taurus had this as well um okay i feel like there's definitely travel coming through because you've got two messenger cards here okay so this person could be traveling to come and see you or this person could be taking action towards you um what i am seeing though here is that you may have told this person off or this person may have told you off i feel like there is some kind of abrupt like kind of cold energy coming from this queen of swords okay and even though that may not be the case but it's kind of feeling like that okay in the moment of time that is because the queen of wands is somebody who is kind of just being their own person doing their own thing very confident very kind of happy you know very much kind of um mythical okay kind of energy and they're just doing their own thing and i feel like this queen of wands has been ignoring this queen of swords who's been trying to have a conversation so i do feel like there is something here about ghosting someone or just ignoring this person completely i was kind of getting that this person is trying to find you so maybe you've kind of disconnected from this person ignored them walked away moved away from this person even <clears throat> um there could have been some kind of manipulation here okay or trying to twist the situation in order to um make things work in someone's favor okay and maybe there's something that you figured out or maybe this person figured out okay um three of swords is talking about of course a separation of you know there is a separation maybe you've been manifesting this separation without even realizing it subconsciously maybe this person's been manifesting the separation okay and i feel like there has been a argument that kicked off between you and this person okay or in the near future there is going to be a conversation that's going to take place okay where somebody's ego will be coming in the way but i also feel like this kind of argument is going to take place in the sense of um it's going to help you okay it's going to help you because it's going to help you see the truth and clarity so there's nothing really wrong with it um if it's going to help you see the clarity and the truth in it okay i feel like you may have the upper hand in all of this the only reason why is because this person here um has hurt you and it's almost like karma right hitting them because you see here this person here is holding the three swords that is a pain that this person caused you but i feel like there's this one sword here that you're going to be using in order to um to get back at this person right that's what i feel okay um so the person here that you're dealing with i feel like they're coming in still maybe they maybe they were coming in before in the recent past as player energy and i feel like maybe you saw this person with somebody else or giving to other people or paying a lot of attention to others rather than you per se but in the current situation i feel like this person is coming in as above so below right which is karmic kind of thing um i feel like this person's coming in um but they they're kind of watching at the moment from a distance is what i'm seeing because they do see there is some kind of boundary that you've put up and some kind of resilience that you have there um you're fighting your battles and you're choosing your battles very wisely with this person right and i feel like in the overall outcome this person is going to be thinking about investing in you i do feel like that you've got leo energy cancer energy here but i feel like in the end it's, it's almost like saying okay but what did it all come to what did it all come to you know um i feel like once the truth is out i feel like this person's gonna start to feel a little bit more kind of happier more kind of satisfied um that you know the truth is out it's like they want that truth to come out that's what they wanted i don't know why i'm getting anchor so there's something about anchor i feel like until this person does not come in and speak the truth or tell the truth and you guys don't have a actual conversation this relationship is still going to hold you 
hold you down, right? You won't be able to move on from this relationship or this connection until this person kind of says what they need to and the truth. And that inevitably will help you move on into a better situation. I, I just feel like that. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here with the clarifications. I'm seeing a spirit coming in. The spirit has like curly hair, mid short curly hair. <laughs> okay, um, so somebody's grandparent could be with us right now. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's see what this Queen of Swords is with this Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Swords with the Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. I feel like this could be a reconciliation. This person's trying to come back in, but you may be thinking this person's just playing you around again. And then this person's coming in as a Knight of Wands, and you are showing up as a Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like in the recent past, this person may have been spying on you or this person has been watching you. Um, I feel like you knew that what this person was doing. Maybe there's something here as well about having a conversation that could have potentially come across quite aggressive. Um, I feel like I feel like if this person was watching somebody else, you kind of pounced on this person. It was almost like sudden snap, you know, and, and you just went towards this person and you snapped at this person and told them. Um... There was a lot of stagnancy here, a lot of stagnancy, a lot of waiting. Tell me about the Magician and Three of Swords. I feel like you're still holding on to this connection. Maybe you felt like this person was going to apologise and, you know, come back around. I heard Spirit say that boat is, is gone. The boat is, the boat is crossed. boat has crossed the shore okay the boat has crossed the shore that's what i'm hearing okay in the current situation i feel like you are you're manifesting something you could be manifesting a new opportunity you could be manifesting you know um there's a multiple of scenarios here that i'm seeing that you are manifesting you're picking and choosing your options very carefully about what it is that you're trying to manifest and this is going to help you in the future okay um maybe you're manifesting this person maybe you want this person to come towards you so that they can make an apology um so that you can move on which is what i said right with the sun you're getting leo quite strongly in here as well um but i do feel here that okay so this person may not be around at the moment they may be somewhere far from you okay but i do there's there is some kind of travel um but i do feel here that this person has definitely hurt you a lot caused you a lot of pain you guys have been separated for a while but somehow this person is still in your energy because you're holding on to them um and if you guys are waiting for some kind of karmic situation and i feel like you're waiting to see this person go through their karma is what i'm seeing and then with this sun card here it's like you're kind of i feel like somebody here has kind of got like a smile on their face but really deep down inside they're breaking okay they're breaking they don't feel happy at all Let's see what this Five of Swords and Ace of Swords is. Wow. Okay. So you've got the Empress card coming out. You've got the Four of Pentacles and you've got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for this person to come towards you and make that apology. And there is something here about karma. And I feel like when you start leveling up and you do have a lot of growing and this person sees that, they're going to come towards you. And I feel like this is when you're going to hold back from this person. And I feel like you're going to kind of block this person out. 
this person might be coming in to tell you the truth. It may not be a love offer, but this person may be coming in to tell you the truth and tell you how things are. And then it's kind of like coming in to say the truth and then moving on, right? Because maybe they know they don't have really a chance with you either. Uh, let's see what this... It's like they know. They know, okay? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person got caught in a third party situation. Definitely. I feel like this person got caught in a third party situation. I feel like this person had somebody else on the side. And when they got caught, they had no choice but to tell the truth. Right? There could have been some, um, there could have been a divorce. There could have been a legal situation as well. Maybe you were married to this person and you filed for a divorce. Or maybe this person is is kind of, was married already to somebody else. Tell me about the chariot and the seven of wands. Hanged man, king of swords and the knight of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to come in and they want to tell you the truth um, of how they were how they were a player and how they were coming in and out of your life and how that they they are seeing things from a different perspective um i feel like the only reason why they're taking their time to come and they're observing and evaluating the situation first from your end is because they feel like you're not going to let them in to talk Right? You might just turn around and tell them off again, and which is why they don't, they're, they're kind of feared. Look at this. They're kind of feared. They're holding back at the moment. They're withdrawing. They're thinking about the situation, but they're watching you from far, definitely. Um, so it could just be that this person here wants to come forward and talk to you, but at the moment they're kind of like staying still. They don't want to say anything. All right, let's see what this Son of Pentacles and the Strength card is about. Another five pentacles, six of pentacles, and the paid ones. Yeah, definitely still I'm getting that same energy where this person feels like you left them out in the cold this time around, but I also feel like they understand that they left you out in the cold too. Right? They do. They understand that you left them that they left you out in the cold as well. And they are still thinking about it. They want to make up for what they've done wrong. But I feel like at the moment they're just kind of like watching, observing, and they're not going to make a move just yet. And it's funny because you still have that seven of wands underneath the deck. Yeah, I feel like this person is definitely going to be going through some changes here. Um, but they definitely are watching at the moment and they're not sure whether they should approach yet or not. But they really admire you from far and your, your strength. Your strength. They admire your strength. Um, so let's, let's go see, um, what is working well, what is not for you guys, and then we are going to get the overall outcome. Unrequited love is kind of coming across to me as, um, unrequited love is kind of coming across to me, um, sort of like, okay, things were left like the situation the relationship has been kind of left unattended to and it's kind of like um an incomplete cycle right an incomplete cycle which is what i'm kind of getting from this All right so let's see what's going on i feel like somebody's trying to pull their hand out to hold yours they're trying to reach out to you i really do feel that Okay, so let's see what's working well between you and this person. So we've got the, the runner. We've got the runner. So there could have been some kind of um, ego situation here. Even though it says runner in a codependent, runner in a codependent relationship, 
um i do feel like this is more about the ego because this is listening to the ego um let's see what's kind of not working well between you and this person seduction yeah i feel like this person was definitely getting tempted and in a lot of third party situations um definitely and i did say that so i feel like right now what you're trying to do is run from the situation or this person's trying to run from actually telling you anything but i feel like it's kind of like karmic situation where karma is actually forcing this person to come forward and speak let's see what the overall outcome is okay so we have cupid's arrow and we have keys of the ring many options decision unconventionality string along one night stand i feel like that's where the fear is there is a lot of love here but there's also a lot of kind of um i feel like you feel this person's going to carry on repeating the same pattern and that this person's not going to be trustable this person's going to keep you in a third party situation if they do come back again not enough so there's not enough here again in this relationship to keep it going there is not enough love here to keep this relationship going anymore i feel like this person is just coming back to complete a cycle that's been left open okay so um there goes i hope this resonated if you did don't forget to smash like share and subscribe okay don't forget to leave me comments down below and i'll see you guys real soon Bye bye